Hello, hello everybody, and good morning, good morning. My name is Jenny, and I am your chip plate witch. And blessings, blessings, everybody, for a blessed Lamas. If you celebrate this part of the turning of the wheel, and if not, magical blessings for your day in the week ahead. I am here today to let everyone and remind everyone that you are magical. Don't let everyone, anyone steal or take that magic away. And I'm also here to do an unboxing of one of my top three favorite. Gets me excited. Gets me jibber, 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 jibber. Which is boxes. This is a really witchy, witchy box. Yes, it is. It is from Sacred Space Crate. And I just noticed, like your LLC. Very, very congratulations on your LLC. I don't believe that was ever on the other boxes. And if so, sorry for not noticing. This box comes just like this. Just a plain old white box. So if you have nosy neighbors you don't want snooping around. Or if you're hiding in that bloom, broom closet. It's a good box to get. It doesn't... It don't really have anything. The most it has is right... Right there. And that's about it. Has a beautiful little sticker there. Please handle with care. Sometimes they listen. Sometimes it looks like they've been using this box as a trampoline. I believe the theme is divination. I don't remember. But I believe it's divination. And I'm going to get this going. Do, 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 do. This box came very early. I mean, she must have had the luck of rolling for her. But before we get going, what is everyone drinking or snacking today? I's a good girl. I bet get my water. Yes, yes, yes. I even had water during the night. I had to drink the whole, whole night because of these meds. Oh, oh. The meds that hold me together. Drink all night. But I am double fist drinking because you heard me say good morning, good morning. I am having my coffee this morning. You can't tell. This coffee originally had stuff wrote all around it. And I was thinking when I was thinking about what it originally said. The beginning really applies to beginner witchcraft. And the beginning of this is if we're painstaking about this phase of our development, we will be amazed before we're halfway through. And that is very, very true with witchcraft. If you're painstaking about this phase of your development, you will be amazed before you're even halfway through. Just go for it, do it, jump in there, and boom, you'll be amazed. And enough of my jibber jabbering. We're here for this. But I will warn you, I will have to stop and take drinky breaks because of those morning meds will dry me up as bad as the Sierra Desert. Let me see if I can make room down here for the box. Okay, and here we go. We got a one. Oh, I'm not gonna clear the room either because I, I, I can smell through the box. So I'm pretty sure there's incense. Two, three. Oh yes, baby. Oh, and there's that calendar. Oh, there's lots of oh, there's lots of papers in here. Here is our theme. I was kind of right. Kind of right. And the information sheet you get from her. I love all the information you get. Comes here, but no waste of paper, baby. She goes on to the back instead of just throwing in another sheet. And there's the beautiful sign. And oh, we got witches' runes. Oh, okay. Beautiful, beautiful book of shadows, grimoire, book of mirrors. Don't hear too many people talk about the book of mirrors. I am going to do a video later about what my differences are. And here is the coveted August calendar. Look at that. The Saxon stone. Another place if I could travel the world. Yes, I would love to see this. 
the original ruined stones. Let me guess if I can get in there. And on the back, the zodiac. The moon and zodiac. And do we have any upcoming retrogrades? Uranus. Impulsive and rebellious. And it is going to make big changes in your life. This is the time to look at the changes that you would like to would like to happen and focus on the energy on them so you have more control over what changes will occur during this time. Note, the Uranus will be in retrograde for the rest of the year. So learn how to work with it rather than against it for smooth transaction. Making changes in your life is always the most wonderful and magical things. And that is funny that I said that because that is part of what a book of mirrors is. Wow. And then, oh. And we have other ruins. And let me see if I can pronounce this. I never do pronounce this right. Elder. Franken. Frank. I can't do it. Franken. Fr I can't do it. These are the other ones, the traditional ones, the ones I would love to go see. Look at that, look at that Book of Shadows sheet. Isn't that lovely? Okay, we'll do a little bit of this. And, oh, oh, wait a minute, we got a new sticker. Always trust your inner goddess. Isn't that the most true statement there ever is? That is the most true statement. You know I got to keep that sticker. That's a new one. So let's cut around that one. We can keep that one. Put that one in the sticker book. Okay. All right. Oh, that's the wiggly sniggly's. So we pull some back. Okay. Like this. Ready, 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 guys. Here we go. A little sneak peek. Not too much, but not too little. And I'm tearing up the room, let me tell you. Let me untear up the room a minute. I am very proud of me. The past quite a few videos I have done in here, I have forgotten to get my stands out. I remembered my stands. I did, I did, I did. I did remember my stands. My trusty old scissors I remember too. Lay the calendar down right there. Okay, you see, I'm gonna look for that beautiful scent that I smell. Uh, where do I see it? I smell it. Oh, yes, yes, yes. The third eye. And I've said it once, I'll say it a thousand times. Go on to the website, sacredspace.com. You could order these incense. You will not be disappointed. They burn long. They burn beautiful. They are absolutely mwah, Very nice. All the love. And let's take our deep breath in and out. And let's ask for all negativity to be removed. Asking for only positivity to remain. And we ask that we speak the truth upon our tongue and our lips. And we ask that we see gratitude in everything that we do, especially in those things that cause us trouble and worry, and that we may learn from them. And we seal this all with mode it be. Let's 
of the smoke around here. Get a little smoke, get a little smoke. Hey, my incense let me blow it out. Yesterday when I was doing the unboxing of the uh, ginger red coffin, that incense went phew, out. We had a nice one here and into the salt we go. There we go. So we got our third eye. This is nice, guys. I love it. I love the scent. Yeah. Look, I am. Oh, I want my 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 witch's broom. My van out there. We call it the witch's broom. I want it to be painted like this. Oh yes, I do. Look at that. Wouldn't that be gorgeous? Oh, and we got. Divination tea. And there's your ingredients. In case I can't pronounce some of those. The chip in my plate is the learning disability. So we will try it in my blindness. Ingredients is peppermint. Lemongrass. Not too sure. Marigold petals. I'm not even going to try to say because my eyes are just going crisscross, crisscross. It's a little too small for me to read, but I'll hold it back up. Probably could read it off the screen easier than I can in my eyes. But like I said before, if you don't drink tea, and tea isn't your thing, you can use this in your magical practices. Casting circles because Mother Earth, remember guys, out in the wild, does not like our salt. But herbs are fine in teas. You can use it in mojo bags, incense, loose incense burners, and many, many more things. Beautiful, beautiful. And let's see what else. I know I'm going to love it. I... Could send me an empty jar. Could send me a jar full of swamp mud. Toad eyes. I'd love it. <laughs> and it'd be... This little bitty jar of herbs. Isn't that beautiful? And what do we have? Isn't that adorable? And it is yarrow flowers. I don't have yarrow flower. I have yarrow, but I don't have the yarrow flower. Let's see what it looks like and smells like. There's our look. And our smell. It doesn't smell like yarrow, but I can't actually describe the scent though either. But look at that bottle. Isn't that adorable? Just love it. Absolutely love it. Okay. And let's go on and on and on. We have, oh, we have a very beautiful bag. We have a bag with the, a heart, silver, it says witch. This is a pretty big bag, guys. It's very nice quality crushed velvet. Just like the crushed velvet back in the old times where they paint Elvis Presley on it and sit on the side of the street and sell velvet paintings of Elvis. What do I have in here? I have... Wood planks. I have, I have wood chips. I have maybe to make your own ruins, maybe. But I have wood planks. And no, I didn't redo my nail polish yet. <laughs> wood planks. Okay, I'm gonna guess we're gonna be making our own ruins. So we will put that there, and this could see. I see. Something I'm always excited to get in boxes. Always think this is A plus. A book. The Witch's Ruins. A traditional divination system. I like it. And it's not too thick. Here we go on the back. There's your publisher. If I remember, I'll link this book down below. 
I'm gonna do a quick flip through. And it does come with pictures, that is nice. Very good. Nicey nice. My oldest daughter is a room thrower. That is her, her choice. She prefers to throw ruin. Chip plate witch down. Aha. Instead of a salve, it looks like we're getting the lip healer. I have bought many times the cauldron lip balm and I'm out of it. The lip balm I have never been disappointed in. This is, I'm very excited to get this. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Oh, the whole family likes it. Oh. Oh, another bag. We have another bag. It is black. This is the color velvet that they painted the Elvis on. Very tacky, but it, it was a thing in the 70s. Look at that. Let's see what's in Ooh. Let's see, let's see. Oh, it's coming in another bag. Oh, it's ruins on bone. Oh. Very nice. Look at this. This is wonderful. We got one time from Melissa the prayer beads. From, I think it was a water buffalo prayer beads. These will go excellent with that as a set. I'm going to pull them all out. Oh, they're nice. No, they got a nice weight to them. I do have to have the book for cheat sheeting because, like I said, I don't usually throw ruins. Look at that. That is wonderful. Oh, boy, oh, boy, that is good. Okay, we're not done yet. Maybe our oil. Do, do, do. I am so happy I remembered these. I couldn't imagine. I'd be showing you guys nothing but bubbles. Look, it's a bubble wrap. <laughs> and we have a spray. Divination spray. Ritual spray. Look at the bag. Oh, look at this. Still holding that sunny summer color. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, it's sealed, sealed, sealed. Which I do appreciate, appreciate because oil sprays, none of those like flying and traveling. And, and if they do fly and travel without being sealed and packaged, they get all over everything. Literally everything. Makes your box smell wonderful, but you lose your product. Oh, I did get it open. Let's see. Ooh. Very, it smells like the incense almost. That is very nice. It does, it's got the, like the scent of the incense that's burning. Very, very nice. Let's move this over there too. Okay. Let's see. Two more things, believe it or not. Two more things. And I'm going to go with the purple, little purple sassy. Mm. 
Oh, guys, look. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, makes me think of nurturing, nurturing love, like a mother's love, is what this makes me think of. Does it do that? I have no idea. I am not a crystal witch. I admire them. I have no idea. It is beautiful though. And never leave the candle alone. Lonely candles, they get so lonely. And let's see what we got in here. Incense don't like being left alone either. They get lonely. Oh. Oh, guys. It is a beeswax rolled. But looky, looky, looky at this. It looks like we get that same crystal there. And at the bottom... It looks like we get the yarrow flowers down at the bottom. So it's the rolled. That is beautiful. How exciting is that? Oh my, my. Look. That is stunning. Where am I going to put this up? There we go. Hmm. Me, 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 me. I am not going to read the whole thing because me, 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 tongue would dry up. Okay, the word ruin simply means mystery, whisper, or secret. It is a form of divination or oracle reading system that's used to help gain insight on situations or questions. Ruins can be made of various materials, but are most commonly made of stone, wood, bone, or any element made from nature. Okay, as well as each ruin symbol would have meant a lot to people you, you, the, using the rheumatic alphabet. The intention behind these symbols still has relevance today. These days, ruins can be used as a method of connecting to one's higher self, inner guidance, and tapping into intuition as methods of fortune telling what the fortune may hold and offering advice. And what we have is a bone ruin set. This set of ruins is a rheumatic symbol engraved on bone. I love working with bone and have a decades more than any other form of divination. Okay, this with ruins. This set was made from the tusk of a water buffalo. And I do believe the prayer beads were done also with the water buffalo, like I said earlier. In the beginning of the video, I do believe. The, so now I'm going to keep on going. It goes into how to use them. And then we have three stone casts, five stone casts. Then the Witch's Ruin book. Right here, ladies and gentlemen. Then we get the perfect purple velvet witch's bag with wood slices to go along with your witch's ruin book it is important to include this beautiful bag to hold yourself made yep your self-made ruins to create on your own the purple witch's bag which is magic is got a heart-shaped witch's charm that which is added to represent the love you put into creating your ruins i've included 15 wooden slices that you can 
paint, write, or burn. And yes, me and Magical Mermaid has made ruins before out of rocks that we've gotten in yards and stuff, digging them up out of my oldest daughter's yard. We've done that. We were supposed to do some more. We got the rocks on the front porch. We gotta get back to them. I'll make a video of that. It was very nice. The third eye beeswax candle. This candle is hand rode with the intention of opening up your third eye. It was this amethyst chip right there. The purple represents witch's magic. The, oh, where is it? The third eye. Okay. And the bottom of the candle is dipped in dried yarrow flowers. So that's what that is. Then we got the yarrow flower. Where'd I put my little bottle? There it is. Can't lose that bottle. Oh my goodness. Be heartbroken. Heart, heartbroken. Yellow flower in the yellow yarrow flower in glass herb jar okay there we go if I can talk it'll be good it's zodiac is Aries its planet is Venus its element is water and its gender is feminine da, da, da. then we got the spray And it, it, the spray is sandalwood based. It is an old recipe that she's worked up, shared up, and sharing it with us. And then we have the, the crystal. This is Chevron Amethyst Crystal, which is a amethyst and white quartz mixed together with a V-shaped or band pattern. Okay, the chevron is one of the best stones to work with your third eye. That's why the candle there. Both intuition and physical vision of all planes. It also says to deepen your motivation state, quality of visions. It's also used to remove resistance uh, and repel negativities of all kind. The crystal healers work with the amethyst and the psychic energies and your ability to clear and strengthen your aura and amplifies energies needed to manifest and work well in grid work. Beautiful. The T over here and then we got the third eye incense sticks. And it is um, sandalwood and vanilla. And then we get the lip balm. I love her lip balms. Oh, I'm over the moon to get a lip balm. I haven't tried that one, but I am over the moon for that one. And then we, of course, got our art works. And the moon and zodiac calendar. And that would be the it of it. And I'm not going to keep, like I said, I'm not going to keep reading. My tongue would dry up. Plus, this video would go on forever. That is the magical box. And I am so, so happy and pleased. Always am. I, I have to say, I am always so over the moon. I do like the idea of putting your own magic into these. Even if they're crisscross, rope, backwards, or ziggly line. It is you, your own magic, put into these. Or if you have those little witches like I do, the little the little grandbabies, neat, 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 our little kids, neat, neat, neat. It's a good way to get them involved. What would I say is my favorite one, two, or three? I believe it or not, the simplest it is, lip balm is one of them. I'm gonna say two, because I do believe the prayer beads are, are water buffalo too, so two. Oh my, my, you know, I want to say the jar over there, but I'm going to have to say three, the candle. So lip balm, candle, water buffalo. You guys down below, what is some of your favorites? And do you get this box? And don't forget to let me know what you're drinking, snacking, and what are some magical moments you have had so far this week? 
my witch's broom with the air conditioning and went bleh. We actually had the little mechanic that we had work on show up at our house, leave his truck here, grab our van, take it down to his shop, leave his van here for us. Incredible. Bring his van back. Didn't charge us because the the motor that makes the air conditioner go is on the fritz. He said, just drive it till it dies and we have to replace it. But he came here, left his own car, took our van, brought it back, didn't charge us. How much more magical moments can you get than that? And I think our tub leak is done. With that, guys, remember, don't get so grown that you forget to see the magic all around you. Stay safe. Have fun. Enjoy the ride of this thing we call life. Until then, remember, I love you. Bye.